guys, I am doing my first resin pour ever. Um, but before I start, I want to thank uh, Mary Murphy, PSH Enterprises, and Kitty Shabelli Designs for contributing to my YouTube channel this month. Um, I appreciate it more than words could say because um, it helps me to continue to do what I love. Um, so thank you. Thank you very much. And with that said, um, we're going to start. I will start. Um, if you already know how to mix the two-part resin, you can just zoom right past all this. There's no, unless you want to hear me babble. Um, but I am going to double glove, and I always double glove doing resin, because then it's, because it's so messy, then I can just uh, whip one off and have another below. Um, I've often thought I should triple glove, because I am a slob. Um, and I just want to keep reminding you, I have never done this before, and I've only seen a couple videos, so um, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I don't have Resablast, and I'm not putting silicone in it, so that's another, you know, I don't know. Um, I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. Um, I know that when I do a 12 by 24, I would put it, fill these to about here and then combine them. This is much, this is a 10 by 10, but I wanted too much rather than not enough. Um, so I marked them. I like these with the lines because then I know I have the same amount in both. Um, but that does seem like an awful lot. I'm going to knock it down one because a 12 by 24 is considerably larger than this. I'll just knock it down one. And that's still probably going to be way more than I need because that's da da. But if I, if I waste some, I waste some, I suppose. So this is the resin. And this is probably going to be out of your sight because I'm holding it up to myself eye level. So that is, and I keep, um, I keep the jar on the side with the cup because uh, sometimes I've gotten off and then it has happened before that I can't remember which was in which cup. Um, yikes. And I must have measured wrong on some past bottles because uh, I've got a lot less hardener than I do resin. Um, and I think that's because for a very brief bit, because um, somebody, I think Anne Marie does it where she measure or she puts it on like a kitchen scale. Um, so I was doing that. Well, the resin weighs more. So it's not fluid ounce, you know. Um, it all did. It, they still seem to harden just the same. Um, so, I mean, it wasn't an issue that way, but I was starting to realize one was going down a lot faster than the other. So I went back to doing it this way. Um, okay, so now, next, let me make sure that I'm in frame. I did that there. Can you? All right. I just didn't know. And I feel really crunched. I'm over here in the corner where my second, I'm usually not over on this side. And I pushed it over even further so that I could have more working space on the side I normally work on. So just scrape out all that you possibly can. I did watch one YouTube yesterday from Resin Obsession. I 
just, I really, I tried to, but <laughs> I'm really impatient. Like when I watch YouTube videos, I get really impatient and I often put them on um, double speed. <laughs> so sometimes I miss what they're saying. I, I just find it ironic that I make YouTube videos and yet even when I watch my own, I forward through myself to get to the good parts. But it is what it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm an impatient person. All right, so. So you're supposed to stir it for two minutes. Um, I'm not about to touch my phone with my hands, so we're just going to stir it. You can kind of tell it starts to look different and you get little um, like threads almost that start flying up and, and so make sure that um, you're scraping the sides of the cup. Uh, I switched directions partway through. Um, and this art resin, I mean, there's, there's like a sort of odor to it, but I can't smell. It's like, you know, everything has a smell to it, but it is not a bad smell. Um, I was looking at other resins because this is a uh, hundred and nineteen dollars for one gallon and I was looking at some marine resins that were a hundred for two gallons I believe so half is half the cost um, and I've heard you know there's so many resins so you hear people have good experiences or bad experiences. Um, and I guess the main thing is some are probably more, I mean, I guess all resin's toxic. Some might be more toxic than others. Um, but as long as it dries clear, like I was looking, I'll probably do one of the marine tabletop resins um, when I ever get around to doing my parents' table which I'm still not sure about. It has a leaf in it, and my dad's going to brace it together underneath so it can't ever be separated, but there's still gonna be that crack. So I'm thinking I'll have to fill that in with uh, some kind of putty and smooth it, and then I'll probably do a few base coats, um, probably of kills or something. I love kills. I use kills on a lot of things. I use kills as my base coat on things. And then you can buy the waterproof kills and K-I-L-Z, if you haven't heard of it. It's a primer. All right, so you probably can't see it, but there's like little bits flying. So I'm going to try and do a negative space. Um, I'm using the Dr. P.H. Martin ink, and there is a white, so... Yeah, in hindsight, I should have painted this white, um, but, you know, hindsight. <laughs> okay, so I am going to move this again, oops, and what I have it sitting on is uh, shelf brackets. Um, all right, so I think I'm just gonna keep it simple, use three colors, um, and I think I will use um, blue, oh my goodness, hold on peeps, oh my gosh, I don't want to touch my phone, and I'm going to turn the volume off, all right, so I usually have good luck with blue, so I'm going to do blue, Teal, blue, teal, and green. Blue, teal, and green. Yeah. So let's see. I'm going to pour 
not very much because I don't use that much in my negative space and even this might be too much. Oops. Let's see. This one barely has anything. Oh man, I gotta go run and let my dog in. I'll be right back. Um, talk amongst yourselves. suave I would edit that out but um, I don't edit so it's not just not gonna happen sometimes I don't even watch them before I post them which could be dangerous but it's good it's all okay all right so I've got so I'm using one um, I did the pipette halfway, which is one and a half milliliters, I believe. Um, get some stirs. Seeing as though I've never used these inks for this and I've never done this, I don't know how much ink I will need. Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, I won't need that much. Check it out. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So pretty. You know what? I should. Um, where are they? Here they are. As long as um, if I got extras, I may as well make um, a tile. So I'm gonna tape up the back real fast. Sorry, I know I'm like doing a million things at once, but I like get it in my because now that I'm looking at this, I think I'm gonna have so much more resin than I need, and it's not like you can store it. So a couple of people lately have told me I seem down in my videos. Um, I'm not down. So I just want to tell y'all I'm fine. I'm guessing that it is exhaustion that you are hearing in my voice. My job is insanely intense this year. And by this time at night, I mean, this is my relaxation, but, ooh, I'm gonna, but, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of fuel, fuel left in the tank. <laughs> All right. Wow, I didn't know that these would be this vibrant. I'm really excited about that. I'm wondering if the white, how that white's gonna be with negative space. Wow. Check it out. Oh, that smells, so it must be the the ink must smell. And Oh, I wonder if these are gonna be too similar in colors. Pretty similar. Oh, those are the resin cups I used. Um, I think I'm going to do two small ones of white. 
This is what's hard is I don't exactly know how much I need of stuff. So there is the white. So let's hope that the white works how I want it to work. And I'm actually going to put it in the, oh, there's a, I should probably take the safety cap off. I'm gonna put a little on the teal. So that so I don't really know how much oops. I don't really know how much to put in the other. This white, I mean am I gonna Oh my gosh, apparently I did not turn the um, vibr or the vibration off. It's my coworkers. Both of them were absent towards the end of the school day. So I'm gonna need more white in there. I gotta get rid of the vibrating noise. There, now it's off, off, off. All right, I'm gonna make that teal whiter than it is. Yeah, so both of them were gone. So it was just me and two subs at the end of the day. So I had texted them a long time ago being like, thanks for leaving me guys. And now they both, both, both must be home. All right, so these are the colors I got going, and I, <sighs> I'm gonna make this even lighter again. I guess my thing with this white is, for some reason, I'm a fearful it's gonna be clear, <laughs> even the white is not clear. Okay, so let's see. So I'm mixing the white. And how f oh, there I see it. Can you see it changing? It's white, yay. Boy, if I start really liking this, that's gonna make my art costs skyrocket. I might have to, I can't think of the name of the resin that like Anne Marie has been using lately, but it's even more expensive than art resin. It comes in like a rectangle shaped bottle. Um, our uh, resin obsession sells it. Okay, so I'm looking. This does not look like solid white. It's like streaky. I probably should not be doing my first one with a white background since I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Okay. <sighs> Hoping that's clean enough. Let me make sure you're still in. Okay. Alright, here goes nothing. I taped up the edges to keep it on while I'm working with it, and uh, then I will untape them. And I still have quite a bit of resin in the other, so I'll still be able to make that tile. Oh, it's like still. I'm stirring it right on here. Hopefully, 
Hopefully it's not sticky. And hopefully it's not clear. Because, you know, the canvas has color. So, you know, little bits in here. And I don't want to see that. And I can see streaks in this. really sure what those are. <laughs> Oops. Oh, and as I'm tilting it, the paint is separating. Or the color. See right here? What? So maybe white negative space wasn't the best idea, but you don't know anything. You know, you, you know, unless you try, you're never gonna know. And it's not like I'm leaving it like this. I'll put on the other color. And the other color might actually end up being heavier than I'd like because uh, there's more of it. Um, so maybe that'll be a good thing. Alright, so just spread out. There's not a huge difference between these colors. So I hope it will be alright. I didn't want to experiment with um, colors that don't always go together. And blue and green almost always work, so I figured those would be safe. Doing this obviously a little different than I would my paint, or you know, because because I kind of want I decided a more all over just because I'm not positive as to what this white is going to be. And I may not even do much past this. I'm gonna torch it just a little bit.
So, yeah, I mean, this is definitely a different look. Um, but I'm working more on uh, experimenting with resin versus um, you know, pattern, I guess. I'm hoping I have enough to drop off the edges. should have used more. Oh, it shouldn't be pouring on my shouldn't be pouring on those. Well, I guess I'm getting all over color anyways, because all my white is gone. so slippery. Yeah. Stylistically, this is not going to be my favorite, I don't think. But I can pour another color on top of it. I know you can't see a damn thing I'm doing right now. Sides covered. This is giving a blotchy look. I just want to remind you again, I don't know what I'm doing. And I probably should have kept those edges up. Because uh, things aren't looking so great. Maybe this is why people do multiple um, coats of resin. Because most of the people I've seen like I bet it is, um, she has gorgeous resin, but she does layers. So maybe, maybe this will be my first layer. I'm not really sure how that works, but it is way too thin right now. Like, um, Yeah. So I'm not sure. I guess I'll let this dry. And then I'll do another one over it. Um, because here's some more white, but I don't think that's really what I want. No, in fact, that is you. you hey, I think it cut off on me. Um, I'll have to go back and look. I really don't know. 
but I heard it, heard it do something. So this time I'm not adding as much to the resin. I'm thinking it doesn't need that much, and it doesn't. This was just a drop. So if I can get this thing mastered, this ink should last quite a while. I'm going to turn it more orangey. And I'm going to see if my red can get a little redder. this down. Whoa. Good. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like everywhere. I'm just mixing it, just making a dirty pour for my tile. Oh, I forgot there was still white in here. thinking I'm going to do something that's probably a huge mistake. But I think this is ugly. Oh, good lord, is that ugly. Yikes. Those are some truly ugly colors. Maybe they, but I guess I don't know how they dry. just going to use my finger and just end up painting, finger painting on this one. This one is pure, pure ugliness. I 
And now that I see how ugly that is, I really made a mistake in doing this, I think. Actually, it's really not that bad. I kind of like it better. I should have left the sides on. Now I know. This is so ugly. But knowing that I can um, do it over once it's dry is uh, giving me hope. <laughs> For my second coat, maybe I should watch some videos. slight chance that it could end up okay. Um, so Simeon, still pretty ugly. Really ugly on the coaster. Um, I don't even want to look at them. They're so ugly. Now they are going to go to bed. Oh. Okay. Since I have a coaster, it's oh, yeah, that'll work. There we go. Good night. <laughs> Thanks for watching.